It is quite impressive how in recent years there are more and more products available to make music at more accessible prices. While the folks at Donner are also targeting this market segment with their effects pedals. The question is, are they good for the price? Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Andres and on this channel I upload videos about guitars, pedals, amps, applied music theory and more. If this interests you, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Full disclaimer, this video is sponsored by Donner. They contacted me and provided me with the pedals and this guitar, the blue one here, uh, strat style blue one here um, to make this video also another thing i'm currently coming out of a cold so it's possible that my voice might sound a little bit weird so you guys know okay in total we will be taking a look at eight pedals we have the dumble drive overdrive which is inspired by the dumble amps it's a fairly light overdrive that gives the sound a little extra push in some cases you might even use it as a boost we have three different modes available and with a little bit of reverb from the verb square that we will take a closer look at in a moment sounds something like this Then we have the Blues Drive Overdrive, which resembles in a way the famous Boss Blues Driver. We have two overdrive modes that are quite different and that make this pedal, in my opinion, a versatile tool. Together with the Dumble Drive, putting the Dumble Drive earlier in the chain, I've gotten some very nice results. With some delay from the Echo Square, we have a sound like this. The Morpher Distortion is a distortion with three different modes and the classic controls for a distortion pedal. With a little bit of reverb as well, it sounds something like this. Over here we have the Ultimate Comp, which is a compressor. Compressors are often overlooked by guitarists or even not truly really understood, yet they are extremely useful tools. In the modulation department we have the harmonic square, which is a pitch shifter with several modulation options to choose from and it sounds something like this. We also have the Echo Square, which is a delay with several different types of delay included. Some examples would be this one's over here.
very similar to the echo square, we have the verb square reverb. Again, several types of reverb or several types of one effect in a single pedal. Some of the modes sound like this. And finally, we have the triple looper, a simple looper with three memory slots that you can actually change with the toggle that you have on the upper right corner. You have also a small color screen, which looks quite, quite nice, and a loop level knob and the foot switch. As you can see, all these pedals except the dumbbell drive have a very similar format. One large knob in the center and three small ones at the top or some variant with two knobs and a switch. All these pedals are from the mini series and the name seems very appropriate. Here you can see them compared to a classic boss pedal. For all the demos, I'm only using the Donner effects, and the guitars that I'm using are in different price points. Um, I wanted to have different instruments at different price points to avoid, you know, having maybe a 30 euros or 30 dollars pedal being tested with a 700 dollars guitar, when maybe the person who buys this pedal has a more affordable instrument, right? Maybe you have a, a Squire or something like that, you pay 200 dollars, and you would like to know how it sounds with a more affordable instrument that is closer to what you have. So for that reason, I'm trying the pedals with different guitars so you can get a different perspective on the sound. Um, as an amp, I'm using the two notes the clean, which is a tube preamp that includes a cabinet and power amp simulation. Um, I only have a regular tube amp and this pedal, so those are the options that I have available to me right now. Um, the signal goes straight from the two notes the clean into the audio interface where I'm using, well, on the computer, I'm using Ableton Live to record every Everything and add a bit of EQ and compression, which is totally normal when you are recording music. The compact size of these pedals is ideal for building a pedal board that is really portable, that is easy to take to rehearsals, lessons, or jam sessions. And also, given the relative low cost of these pedals, they are an interesting option for a pedal board that we want to have with us in places where it, it is perhaps more likely to be damaged or stolen, and we do not want to expose a more expensive pedal board to that situation. 
I also consider that in this price range, they are a good option to test new effects that we may not have had the opportunity to use before. Basically to experiment and see if it is something that we like or that we could use. Some of these pedals like the Verb Square and the Echo Square are quite versatile, giving new guitarists or people just starting to explore the effects pedals world the option to try multiple modes and see which ones they like best without having to invest a lot of money. I personally like the Dumble Drive and Blues Drive quite a bit. I'm going to have them on my pedal board and would recommend them if you are looking for overdrafts that sound good at a low price. If this pedal's caught your attention in the description, I'm leaving you an affiliate link where you can buy these and other Donner pedals and other Donner products. If you use that link, I earn a small commission without the price changing for you. It is a very simple way to support the channel, but also a simple like is very welcome. In the description, I'm also leaving you a link to Donner's website in case you want to check other of their products. I would like to know what you think of these pedals. Of these eight, which one would you like to try? Leave me your comments in the comment section below. Here are also some magical boxes that you can click on. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.